So we're gonna start with the primer, and this is the Hourglass Primer. And I've used this for a couple years, honestly. It's something special. It's just something that I got for free from Sephora, honestly. Like, I probably wouldn't buy this. It feels like, it feels almost like you have like this veil on your face. So I guess that's kind of cool. That's the name of it too. Um, the Hourglass Veil Primer. And it kind of gives you like this white, like flashback almost. Um, I posted this picture the other day and I was just like, wow, like I look like a fucking ghost. And I figured out it's because of this damn primer. I'm gonna outline my eyebrows. And a lot of you guys know that I got microblading done, so I won't be filling them in in this video. But if you wanna know more about microblading, you guys can click the link below. So, <clears throat> okay, yeah, so this is the, I'm using the Hourglass Concealer, and this is the first time, well, this is the first time I've purchased it, so it's the first time I've been using it, like, consistently for a while, and I don't know, I don't think I'm going to rebuy it again, because it creases really bad underneath my eyes, so it always looks like I have, like, like I'm sleepy or something. So I need to go back to like, I don't know. I still haven't found a concealer that I can honestly say is a favorite. Even the one that I got from Glossier, like, you know, they say that they're supposed to be this like coming of age makeup brand that are just like so good, but it's not that amazing to be honest <laughs> but i'm gonna still use it because i paid for the fucking shit so we're gonna make the best out of it so we're gonna take glossier's concealer and apply that underneath our foundation just to highlight through because i did get the wrong shade so that might also be why i don't like it that much the only thing that made me want to buy this was the fucking marketing i mean their lipsticks are kind of good i'm not gonna hate on their lipstick but they're like foundations or they're concealers and stuff. It's not necessarily my cup of tea. I think if I order anything else from Glossier, it'll be their skincare because my um, old coworker told me that she really liked their skincare. Their perfume smells really good too though. Ooh, I'm sorry, I get so like distracted and in my phone, but oh, I fucking love Mentos, you guys. Mentos are the best thing that ever happened. No. Now that we've applied our concealer underneath, I'm gonna take my Hourglass foundation and I got this in the shade Natural. Uh, summer's coming around, so I think it's getting a little too light for me. I always hate this shit because I have to buy multiple different foundations because my skin is never consistently any color in the summer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation in Natural. I actually really, really, really like this because I get full control of how much product I'm putting on and where I'm putting it, and it's a stick, so it's like I always know how much I have left, but I really, really like this foundation a lot. Okay, this is the commercial break. Commercial break from this get down. I honestly just got into tarot cards, I would say maybe like a month or so ago. My coworker that I used to work with, she would do readings and stuff, and I always felt very intuitive and like very spiritual, and I was just very in tune with myself and like, you know, my spirituality and everything that comes along with that. So every time we would hang out, she would give me she would give me these readings and they would be super accurate. Let me get my own tarot cards and let me see like what I can do with my own. And I got them maybe like two or three days ago, but every day I'll do a little tarot card reading on my Insta story. And I think it's crazy the type of response I got from it was so positive. Like so many of you guys are so intrigued and interested and actually thank me for posting this. So I think it's 
hella cool. I um, obviously I'm not some like professional tarot card reader. I'm nowhere near like being anywhere. I'm not even near that. I'm not even on that path. I'm just honestly doing it like it was for myself. Like I just wanted to try out some stuff. So I've been reading on it and you know learning more about it and just trying it out and it's I had yeah it's been pretty crazy but I think it's pretty cool that you guys really like it and a lot of you keep telling me to do it so I'm gonna keep doing it so if you do want to see some little tarot card readings on my story on Instagram go check that out you can follow me on my Instagram but I could even start doing them on here honestly if you guys are that into it I could do like a reading a week like a weekly reading but it's all subjective honestly it's all it's just like horoscopes. It's exactly what you take from it and apply to your life. Um, that's all it is. It's never something where it's like, how old is Kim? And it's going to say, oh, 25. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing like that. It's just very general. So it's like, so where do I see my life going in five years? Am I on the right path type stuff? Am I in the right direction? Am I doing the right stuff? Am I taking the right steps? And then the cards will tell you. You know what I mean? It's that kind of stuff. But... To each his own, I'm not a witch, it's none of that shit, so don't fucking try me. We're going to apply the Hourglass Hidden Concealer in Pearl. And I'm just going to dab this over like the bags under my eyes and over any acne that is still showing through the layers of, the layers of foundation and makeup or whatever I put on my face. I feel like I sleep so much and I'm still like I have horrible bags underneath my eyes. It's like I cannot escape it regard no matter what I do. All right. So now I'm just going to take some blush and this is this is also something I do kind of like from Glossier. It's okay. It's not something I would probably order again like I said. This is the Cloud Paint in Beam. The reason why I say I won't order it again is because it just didn't do anything crazy for me. Like, you know, it's good. It's a good product. But I feel like there's a blush out there that's just going to be my blush. Like, it's going to be this perfect orange, peachy tone. And it's just going to warmthen up my face and not, you know, have me out here looking crazy like some of these blushes do. But this is a very good, like, in the meantime, you know, until I find my soulmate. You know that boy from before... That boyfriend, you know, it's that boyfriend that's just getting you prepared for that real one, you know, the real thing. I mean, I do like the way that it comes out and that it looks on my face sometimes. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's cute. It's just sometimes I apply it and it doesn't look this good. Kat Von D's translucent, Kat Von D's Locket Translucent Powder. I'm starting to use more of this shit because I realized that I've been very frugal with it and there's no point. Can you guys recommend some good places to get new makeup brushes from, by the way? I like these, but upgrade time. All right, so we have set it, locked it in. The Kevin O'Coin. Kevin O'Coin highlighting palette. All right, we're just gonna have fun with this one. I'm taking the Rihanna brush, because even though I'm not using her product, I got a rip. Represent. I like Kevin O'Corn because he's subtle. It's nothing like too much. It's always very like seamless when I use his stuff. It's never crazy. I'm not saying that Fenty is crazy. Like Fenty um, is probably like one of my top highlights, but this is just another one that was a an OG of mine. That I really like. All right, so we're just gonna um, blend this out a little bit. Just so it doesn't look so donutty. Your like glazed damn donut. Lips. Lips time, time to shine. So we're gonna take Nyx's lip liner natural roll as always. After we've lined our lips, we're going to apply 
Dun dun dun. Next stock on, honey. Once we've applied stock on, we're going to take. We're gonna take Bite Cosmetics Cocoa Lush Fruit Lip Gloss. So the color is cocoa and it's the Lush Fruit Lip Gloss from Bite. And we're just gonna apply this on top of Stockholm. Just to add some shine. So yeah, this was the look I was going for tonight. Just something really simple. Skin's really glowy, natural. Looks like I kind of just did all my errands today and just decided like, hey, I guess I'll go to this party. That's today's look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Super simple, cute, and chic. And I hope you'll come back to my channel and watch another video. It's honestly not as boring as you think it is. This is just one of those ones, you know? But yeah, listen to my podcast, link down below. Subscribe, follow me on everything because it's very important, very pertinent. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be back later with another one.